Did you know that in Google Forms, you can actually set up a set of rules depending on the types of questions that are being asked. So for example, checkboxes have a really cool set of rules that enable you to really customize the form experience for your users. So let's check it out. So as you can see, we have our form, which is called Create Your Virtual Pizza. And there's only three questions on this form just to kind of show what I'm talking about here. So one of them is select at, at least three toppings for your pizza. So we have pepperoni, mushroom, etc. And the next question is select up to two slides, uh, two sides. And the last one is choose one drink. So if you're familiar with Google Forms, I mean, so these are just check boxes, but you know, the instructions say select at least, which means, I mean, if I leave it at two, I'm not getting any kind of message that says, hey, you, you need to actually read the instructions and you need to select at least three toppings. Um, the same thing for the second question. This one says select up to two sides, but there's nothing preventing me from selecting all three or more than two. And then finally, the last one is choose one drink, but there's again, there's nothing uh, preventing me from selecting all five drinks. So here's actually what we can do uh, in Google Forms, specifically with checkboxes, and it goes back to the types of rules that you can use. So let me go back to my form. And so I have my form here. And so this one says, select at least three toppings for your pizza. So what I can do is go down here to where the three dots are. I guess some, depending on who you talk to, there's different names for these guys. I'll stick with the snowman, because I think, um, it's kind of fitting. So I click on that and then I'm gonna click on response validation. Now I actually haven't really clicked on the snowman all that often, but once I found about uh, found out about this, it opened up a new world for me. So we click, you click on response validation and you get this new uh, these, these new options on the bottom. So our, our form says select at least three toppings. So if you click on here, there is there is a select at least, there's a select at most, and there's a select exactly. So I'm gonna select at least. And I'm gonna choose, we need to have at least three toppings. And my error message is, please select three, uh, please select at least three toppings. Okay. The next one I'm gonna go down to is select up to two sides. So when I go to this question, gonna go to the snowman again, hit response validation. And this time I'm going to select um, at most. So we're gonna select at most two things and the, our custom error message will be, please select up to two sides. And then finally we have choose one drink. So again, going to click on snowman response validation and select exactly put one and I'm gonna say, please select only one drink. Now, when I go and hit send, just to kind of preview what my, um, uh, what my form looks like, I'll just paste it in there. So now it'll say, this one says, select at least three toppings for your pizza. So I click on this. Now, if you look down the bottom now, I actually get error messages. I can't just leave it at one because it'll say, please select at least three toppings. So until I select three toppings, that's when the message goes away. If I select a fourth topping, well, that's okay too, because it, it's still within the parameters, right? It's, it's select at least three. So if I have less than three, then the message comes up. So I need to select at least three toppings. This one says select up to, second question, select up to two sides. Um, well, I can either choose salad, uh, maybe some fries, but if I select any more than that, anything more than two, it says, so please select up to two sides. So I have to keep it as two. And then finally, choose your drink. Choose one drink. Well, I want Pepsi and I want Coke and I wait a second, I got this message again, please select only one drink. So these rules are really neat because they can really guide your user to how um, you want them to interact with the form. But that's how you can use rules and how you can use rules specifically with checkboxes in Google Forms to really customize your user experience. Thanks for watching and 
Please subscribe if you liked what you saw. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to know uh, or get reminded when any other new videos pop out. Um, but other than that, that's how you do that. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.